today I want to quickly share an idea for a meaningful holiday gift basket for children. So like the idea of the Easter basket, it's become more popular now to gift these types of baskets for various holidays. Um, it's just a more intentional way of gifting if you're giving something that will last um, and promote play and learning and imagination. So I start off with a natural basket, usually thrifted from the Goodwill or the thrift store. Having a theme, for example, with a children's storybook is fun. My kids are loving Room on the Broom, appropriately so. It fits in for the month of October. I will always suggest a play silk. It adorns the basket and it's an eco-sustainable alternative to lining the bottom with paper straw or any other filler. It can be used as a play scene, an imaginative play, for example, the landscape to the forest floor where the storyline of this book takes place. Next, uh, storytelling toys or dolls to go with the book. So I made my littles my interpretation of the characters in this story. Pet dolls promote the emotional and imaginative development of a young child in building stories, introduces a storyline or narrative into play, dictation, uh, dictating a story while they're playing, vocabulary and language development uh, in repeating words, rhymes, and phrases, uh, and just tons more benefits. So I made this set with all natural materials like watercolors, 100% wool felt and yarn, birch wood peg dolls, cotton thread, twigs. The all natural materials are important in non-toxic qualities, longevity, durability, and beauty in our children's toys and materials. This set that I made includes six peg dolls, so the six main characters in the story, and four accessories also made out of natural materials. So a broomstick and a wand, a cauldron pot made out of felt, and three wooden mushrooms which are hand painted. Feel free to include any other details or elements that go with the story. So in this storyline, the cat drops a a pine cone in a cauldron pot as well as a twig uh, so I'm just including all these types of accessories that go hand in hand with the role play and story uh, telling plot uh, that these toys promote so loose parts would pair perfectly I'm adding gems for water stones um, wood round pieces wooden dowels uh, a homemade scented play-doh would also pair very nicely for more of a sensorial element to this basket of course you have to add a yummy treat so a candy alternative would be homemade cookies a granola uh, no baked peanut butter balls my kids love those or if you don't have time for all that because you've been busy making peg dolls like this mom a fresh fruit seriously my kids go up the wall for fruit um, they'd be happy to find a fresh apple in here and lastly we love hand rolling beeswax candles and gifting them as much as we can so I've added one in here it adds a special glow and aroma to any room setting. In my opinion, this is totally appropriate to gift as a family gift or to a group of siblings to share as the value and the meaning in this basket is worth more than several baskets filled with your traditional goodie bag fillings. So I hope you've enjoyed my take on a holiday gift basket and that this has inspired you to gift more intentionally and sustainable this holiday season. Thanks for watching.